And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, the terrifying story of a young couple and a mad woman and what happened to them. So now, starring Harry Bartell and Virginia Gregg, here is tonight's suspense play on a country road. in this mess of traffic. Must be a wreck or something up ahead. Just keeps up, we'll get caught in the rain. Yeah. Looks like a big storm building up, too. Hey, you remember that shortcut? Which one? The little tarred road that uh, goes across through Santa Moriches and comes out on the other highway. Mm, the one we took last summer? Yeah. I'll turn off there and duck this pile up. I'd like to get as far as possible before that storm. Why don't you put out your hand? Oh. Get angry, Dave. Well, he cut right in front of me to turn into that gas station. Maybe he needed gas. Stupid thing to do. Do we have plenty? No. I'll have to stop and get some. Turn on the radio, will you? See if you can get the news. Police this afternoon issued two warnings to all residents of Long Island to be on the lookout for Nellie Golar, a middle-aged woman described as dangerous and insane. What? She escaped this morning from Restview Mental Hospital after fatally butchering a doctor, a nurse, and a ward attendant with a meat cleaver. Oh. This is the same Nellie Gohler, who a year ago murdered three persons on a Brooklyn street, also using a meat cleaver as a weapon at that time. This station will broadcast a full description of our regular newscast, which follows in just a few moments. <laughs> My mother-in-law. In time, anyone who may know the whereabouts of this woman... No, I'm good. ...is to communicate with Long Island... At least we aren't the only crazy people on Long Island. Why'd you change it? I didn't want to listen anymore. They put her to sleep instead of just locking her up where she can escape and kill more people. Who? The woman they were talking about on the radio. Well, she can't help what she does. She's sick. What good does that do the people who get chopped up with a meat cleaver? I don't know. The laws were made before the doctors knew very much about the human mind. Still don't know much. Well, I see what it is. There's a roadblock up ahead. What's happened? I don't know. There are cops all over the road. I'll bet they're looking for that crazy woman. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, what's up, officer? Uh, just a checkup. Anything in the back seat? Just the blanket and some fishing tackle. We went surf fishing. Yes, ma'am. Seen any hitchhikers? No, just traffic. Okay. Move right along, please. Are you looking for the crazy woman? Over along. Let's go. He's busy. All residents of motorists on Long Island are warned to be on the alert for the escaped insane woman who is somewhere on the island. What are you doing? She is described as tall, broad-shouldered, gray-haired, and rather heavy. She may still be armed with a meat cleaver. 100 men are searching the area, and they are prepared to shoot on sight. Here's another bulletin on the case which just came in. Just a few minutes ago, the decapitated bodies of an elderly man and woman were found by police near Center Moriches on now Long here's Island. That shortcut. Residents of the area are warned not to get open their doors to strangers. Anymore. Motorists are cautioned to stay off the lonely roads and not to pick up any hitchhikers. All persons are asked to be on the lookout for this woman. Here is her description again. She is tall, gray-haired, with broad shoulders and long arms. She no. is believed to be armed Turn that with a off, will you, I thought you which wanted to hear. Well, that's enough of it. Yeah, shortcut will save us a lot of time. You turned off the highway. Well, sure. I told you when I did it. We've come over a mile already. We'll save a lot of time. Didn't you hear what the radio said about staying off lonely roads? We just have to go across to the other highway. It won't take long. Are you sure? Of course. We go past Santa Moriches and then take the left road and come out right by the highway bridge. Santa Moriches is where she just killed those two people. Oh, you're acting like a child. What can happen to us while we're driving? Besides, the whole island's full of men looking for this lunatic. They'll catch her. Oh. It's just the storm, honey. You're jumping. Oh, I guess I'm silly. David. What? The gas gauge says empty. Yeah, there's still a couple of gallons left when it points to empty. How long has it said empty? I don't know. I'll get gas when we get across to the other highway. David, I'm scared. Yeah, relax, honey. I wish we'd stayed on the highway. But 
have known you'd act like this, I would have. It's not my fault. Well, it's not mine either. I'm having trouble enough just trying to see through the storm. David, what are we fighting about? I don't know. Driving through these burned-out woods in this kind of weather is enough to give anyone the willies. It got dark so fast. I hardly see ahead, even in the headlights. There's something up there. Don't stop, David. It's only a sign. A crazy woman could be around here. Look, I'm not picking up anyone. I just want to know where I am. Well, don't get out of the car. I'm not getting out of the car. Now, calm down, will you? So the march is that way. We'll take this road. The march is... This must be the road that she killed the people. <gasps> Dorothy, please. I'm sorry. I'm jumpy. Put on the radio. We haven't passed the house yet. Miles of woods on both Look, sides. Look, it's so dark we wouldn't have been able to see anything if it was there. This rain seems to be getting worse. And motorists in the area are warned not to open their car doors. David. Now stop that, Dorothy. That's why the police had a roadblock by this road. The crazy woman might be anywhere in these woods. But not necessarily where we are. David, what's the matter? Fine. What a place to run out of gas. Oh, no. You mean we're stuck here? I don't know. Well, we're here for the time being, anyway. The crazy woman is in the woods. She'll kill us. She's nowhere near us. Now, will you calm down? David, quick. What? Turn off your headlights. Why, did you see something? David, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. <sighs> I should have got gas. Don't put the headlights on, please. Why? She'll see us if you do. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm putting them on. David, please, please turn them Listen, off. Listen, Dorothy, I don't want this silly thing to get to you now. Just look at the headlights. Poking into darkness at nothing but wet bushes and trees. And rain falling, please, David. <laughs> There. They're off. Do you feel any better sitting in the dark? If only the thunder and lightning would stop. The rain. Look, Dorothy, there's no sense in sitting here all night. It's only a few minutes past ten. I'll walk up the road a bit. There might be a house or something. You're not going to leave me here. I won't let you go. But, Dorothy, we can't sit here in the middle of nowhere for the rest of the night. We're safer here than out there. David... She's probably hiding in the woods, just waiting for a chance to kill us. Oh, come on. Why should she be right where we've run out of gas? Why can't she be here? Oh, please stay in the car. Well, it's silly, but all right. Quick. What? Lock the doors from the inside. Why, what is it? Well, she can't get in here. She's nowhere near us. Don't be mad at me, David. I'm so scared. I know I'm acting very silly, but I can't help it. I'm sorry. Come here. Now let me put my arm around you. There. Oh, David. Come on, sweetie. Put your head on my shoulder. <laughs> you forgive me, David. Go ahead and cry. It'll make you feel better. Oh, isn't this some popular music? I don't know. I'll see. Who are pressing their search for the escaped insane woman who has killed five persons since fleeing from a Long Island mental hospital. Rain and darkness are hampering their search. In making her escape this morning, the mad woman killed a doctor, a nurse, and an attendant. You'll leave it off for a while. It's so quiet and lonely here. I wish it were morning. Look, Dorothy, suppose I run up the road. There might be a house. No, David, no, please. David. What? Listen, do you hear that? I don't hear anything. There it is. I don't... Oh, it's a dog. A little dog barking. Oh, David. I guess it's only a lost dog. Or maybe there's a house nearby. Or the huh? crazy woman. <gasps> David, don't... Oh. Something, something hit the back of the car. Sir, she'll kill us. Is the door locked on your side? Yes. Yes, what if she breaks the window? She's got a cleaver. That flash of lightning, I saw somebody. Is it the crazy woman? Can you see her? She's still there. Too dark to see. She'll kill us. Now, calm down, calm down, please. What's she doing? I don't know. Ah! She's at the window. Right next to me. Get away from that window. She's trying to get in the car. 
Make it in her hair. Go away! Let me in! I'm not crazy! The crazy woman is after me! Don't let her in! Go away! We got a gun, we'll shoot! It worked! It worked, she's staring at me! I'm warning you! I'll shoot! Please don't leave me out here, please! That woman will kill me! Please! David, take your pipe. Hold it like a gun. It'll look like a gun. Yeah. Now look, I got a gun. I'm gonna shoot. He's back in the way. Keep going before I start shooting. Oh, David. Oh, she's gone. Oh, she disappeared. We can't get out now. All we can do is sit here all night and wait for help. Oh, dear. Where'd she go? I don't know. She's out there, though. Probably planning on how to get in this car. David. David, what are we going to do? She's the one. I know. She didn't have a cleaver. She must have dropped it when she ran into the car. Her face was all twisted and her hair was hanging down. She must be back there looking for that cleaver now. She'll kill us. Oh, she'll kill us. Dorothy, stop it. She'll kill us. Oh, David. David. are listening to On a Country Road, tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. During World War II, the skies of Europe were broad highways of terror for bombardment. Your opportunity to guard our skies against surprises comes in parcels of time amounting to no more than two hours a week. Volunteer hours spent as ground observers. Two hours a week, if enough of us give the time, means security. Ask at your local civil defense office. Earn your silver wings with the ground observers. And now we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage Virginia Gregg and Harry Bartell, starring in tonight's production of On a Country Road, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. Get away from here. Stay out of the car. I'm coming in. I can't stand it out here. Stay out of the car. I warn you, I've got a gun. You wouldn't shoot Go me. away. You're crazy. We know all about you. No, I'm not the crazy woman. Believe me. Let me in. Don't do it, David. She's trying to trick her. Listen to me, please. I've been running in this awful storm. My car is stuck in the ditch back there. How far back? I don't know. It seems like miles. I heard about the crazy woman on the radio. I was afraid to stay in the car alone. Let me no. in. No, David. Go back to your own car. No. It's so dark and so lonely and, and this storm. I locked the doors, but I was afraid. I, I could see things and hear things in the darkness. I, I couldn't stand it anymore. I got out and ran. It's the rain. That's why I look like this. I, I'm not the crazy woman. Let me in, please. Well, Let Arthur, me maybe in. Maybe she isn't the crazy woman. Maybe she's just scared and exhausted. No, no, David. She's the one. I... No. The crazy woman had a cleaver. I'm not armed. The three of us will be safer together. Oh, I don't know. She makes sense to me, Dorothy. We would be safer with one more person. Oh, David, I don't know. Let me in, please. I'm wet to the skin. I'm going to unlock the door, Dorothy. David, I... All right, come on, get in. But you make one move and I'll shoot you. Uh, uh, oh, it's good to sit down. Uh, there's a blanket on the floor back there. Try to dry yourself off with it. The darkness and, and the rain. It was enough to drive me out of my mind. I ran and ran. All I could hear was feet chasing after me. Hunting me. You, um, you live near here? Farther out, near Restview. I used to live in Brooklyn. Restview is the mental hospital. I know. I'm used to the crazy people. But not at night and in a lonely place like this. 
Not the kind who kill people. You live at Restview? No. Just near David, there. We can't sit here not knowing. If we could get to a phone. A phone? Why? Call the police. Get some help. No. No, don't do that. Why not? Why don't you want the police? Oh, I do. But you'll be killed. What do you mean? The woman. She'll kill him if he goes away from this car. Look Here's that dog again. Do you hear it? Somebody's out there. There might be a house nearby. Maybe it's barking to be let in. It senses somebody. There's somebody out there. That's why the it's crazy barking. woman's creeping around out there. Quick. Let's get away before we're caught. Look out, David. Let go of me. What are you trying to do? Start the car, quick. We'll get away. We're out of gas. Out of gas? You don't think we parked here for the fun of it, do you? David? It stopped barking. What does it mean? David. David, we're so helpless. She can kill us easily. We can't just sit there. We've got to get away. I'm not a magician, lady. I can't make gasoline out of rain. We can't stay here the whole night. You Let hear? go of me. There's nothing I can do. Try something, anything. Don't just sit there. She's scaring me, David. Stop Now, her. you cut it out. You'll have us all in hysterics. All right. All right, I'm sorry. I've got an idea. Give me your gun. Why? Why? I'll tell you I want it. Give it to me. David, what's the matter with her? Listen to me. I'm all right. But I can't sit here all night. I'd go crazy. Give me the gun and I'll go. I won't be afraid of the dark and the noises and the feet following me. I'll go, I promise you. But no. give me the gun. No, sit down. Please, I'll go. I promise. I can't stand sitting in the can't dark. Can't you stop like her, David? I told you to shut up. If you don't, I'll make you get out of the car. You wouldn't. Not unarmed, not into the woods again. You're nice people, aren't you? Or do you want me to leave so you can shoot me? Is that Stop it? it? We're not going to shoot you. We don't have a gun. It's only Dorothy. a pipe. Dorothy! A pipe? David. A smoking pipe? Oh, David, I'm sorry. Then, then you're not I'm, armed. I'm sorry, David. It's all right. Why did you tell me you had a gun? Why does it make a difference to you whether I'm armed or not? I don't know you. Maybe you two are more dangerous than the crazy I'll woman. I'll tell you what I think. I think you're the crazy woman. The way you grabbed David when you wanted him to now, start Dorothy, the car. Now, Dorothy, stop you... it. Don't excite her. Don't excite me. Why? Maybe you think I'm dangerous. An old woman you took into your car. Two of you and you're afraid of We're me. We're not afraid of you. Now, sit back in the seat and don't try anything. I'm watching you all the time. David, the storm is stopping. Maybe now the time. The time for what? What are you going to do? You two are up to something. Oh, shut up. My wife meant now is the time to go for help. I did not. I meant now is the time for us to escape. David, can't you see it? She's the one. She'll kill us. You Stop little... it. Sit back in that seat. You haven't got a gun. No, but I have got a knife. David. It's my jackknife, but it's sharp and it's strong. Now, don't try any tricks. All right. Threaten me. Watch me. While that woman is out there, all you can do is sit and wait for her to make the next she move. She kill us like that old man and woman. They must have been on the same road. They were in their car, too. They must have let her in. We'll leave, then. The three of us will walk. We'll stay close together and we'll be quiet. Anyone hiding in the woods won't hear Don't us. Don't let her out of the car, David. We'll be killed. How would we find our way? It's too dark. We'll find our way. Look out there. The road's full of shadows. Get out of the car, David. She wants to kill us. Kill you! Look, if you want to go, why don't you leave? You don't need us. You, we're willing to stay here until help comes. I'd be helpless alone. If I had a gun or something. What? Your no knife. Nobody come. Where are the police? I can't stand this. Now, Nobody Dorothy. will come. There's no one in these woods. They're burned out and des deserted. Honey, please. It was your idea to use this road. You wouldn't listen to me and stop again. I couldn't help it. I got lost. Why don't you do something not to they're waiting and waiting. Do something before we're murdered. Are you so All helpless? Right. All right, I'm going to do something. I'll go for help. That's it. Get help. David, in her hand. What? I saw it in the moonlight. It glittered. What is it? Your wife is hysterical. She's holding it. A long piece of broken glass. Long and pointed. See? She doesn't answer. She's just watching us. What's she waiting for? 
From the broken window. That's where she got it. So what if I have it? I'm not going to sit here defenseless. She's going to attack us. Don't be silly. It was all right for you to have a knife. Why can't I be armed for whatever may Give me that broken glass. Give it to you? You think I'm crazy. Give it to me. You couldn't protect us from anything. David, David, what are you doing? Why are you climbing over the seat? Now, I warn you, you, I'm through letting my wife be terrified. Give me that glass. Stay away from me. Once I'd left the car, you were going to butcher my wife with that broken glass. No. No. David. Give me that glass. You're crazy. Let me alone. Hold it. Hold it. Don't let it free. Got my arm. You'll kill me. Drop that glass. She dropped it. She dropped it, David. Have you both gone crazy? Trying to kill me. Like you were going to murder us. I was. get free. David, if you have a knife, and I'll have glass. Hold it, Hold it David. Hold it. Much longer. I'm not crazy. Please believe me. Just give me that knife. That's all. Got my throat. Your knife. David, use your knife. <laughs> You killed her. David. You killed the crazy woman. I couldn't help it. She she was she was choking. She was covered with blood. She, she, she was gonna kill us. Oh. <sighs> Look, uh, lights. The car's coming. Help's coming. Everything will be all right, honey. Hey there. You in the car. Why are you parked here? It's the police. It's the police at last. We, we, we ran out of gas. What a the crazy woman. Picked a better spot. What with that woman running around loose? Officer, officer, we wanted to tell you. The bomber up the road called us. Had his dog been barking at something? Yeah, well, we caught her. Who'd you catch? The crazy woman. She's in the back seat. Dead. What? Uh, no. No, she's alive. Badly hurt though. She, she was trying to kill us. We fought. Well, we'll get her to a hospital. You come with me. Lucky it didn't kill her. We captured that crazy woman half an hour ago. I don't know who this lady is. Well, come on, give me your hand with her. Suspense. In which Harry Bartell starred as David and Virginia Gregg as Dorothy with Helen Cleave as the woman. Next week, the story of a young girl who was able to win her way with all men, save one. We call it simply Pretty Girl. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Norman MacDonald, with music composed by Lucian Morawick and conducted by Lud Gluskin. On a Country Road was specially written for Suspense by Walter Bazaar. Also appearing in tonight's cast were Tom McKee and Jack Carroll. Gunsmoke is heard twice every Saturday on the CBS radio network. <laughs> <laughs> 